So, hello, my dear sisters and brothers in the Dharma. Namaste. Uh, here I am again, this time to talk to you about something that is really very, very special to me also. And as part of my journey in India last year, uh, when I visit Kalimpong. It was very, very special uh, when I visit Kalimpong last year during the conference uh, from Nalanda, uh, where I participated and uh, give a lecture about Mandarava, about Princess Mandarava and the importance of Princess Mandarava in Guru Padma Sambhava life. I had the opportunity to meet um, the Lipsha Gompa. Uh, during a, a small visit after the conference, uh, we went to the Lepsha Gompa and I was totally in love in this place. Uh, this place is just magnificent. It's a wonderful place for practice. It's a genuine Dharma place. It's a very simple and humble Gompa, but it's a Gompa and a place that is connected to the Dujum Tersar lineage and Shatari Buche lineage. So it's wonderful. It's a very simple, very humble, but with the most wonderful texts I ever saw. The problem is, you know, the Lepsha community doesn't have any income, doesn't have any money to rebuild this gompa. And with the big rains and the huge monsoon we are having in India at this moment, <clears throat> the gompa is being totally uh, threatened with the water. And since in the shrines uh, there is no glass to protect the statues and the beautiful and unique, amazing images from Lepsha Gompa, uh, it's not possible for them to really preserve these wonderful statues. And I could feel immediately the presence and the strong, strong presence of the female essence in this place. And it's places like this that really deserve our investment, our generosity. They are just simple, humble people, lay practitioners that have a family, that have a life, and that dedicate all their life to Dharma. So to them, first I want to be very grateful because they exist, they inspire me in my practice, and I want to thank for your kindness and for your generosity in engaging in causes like this, maintaining the irritants, help the small gompas that don't have any kind of income, uh, any kind of sponsors from nowhere to help them to maintain these beautiful irritants. I can assure you in this gompa, you have one of the most blessed and amazing Milarepa statues. So if you really want to sponsor if you really are a generous person, if you really care about the Dharma, uh, if you really care about those who genuinely practice the Dharma without expecting nothing in return, without name, without fame, just doing Dharma, their daily practice, embody the Dharma in themselves. If you feel connection with Dujam Tersa lineage and Shatarimbuche lineage and Enigma tradition, please, Give your time and give the chance to sponsor, to recover the Lepsha Gompa. Uh, in the name of the Lepsha Gompa, I really deeply appreciate your kindness. I really deeply appreciate your generosity. And I'm sure in the Gompa, practice will always be there for you. And you are already invited to visit the Lepsha Gompa when you go to Kalimpong. Please, let's be generous, let's be kind, and let's think in those who really practice and are engaged in practice, but don't have the means and don't have the fortune to have great, big, rich sponsors, but really need our time, our precious generosity, and we need to maintain this kind of heritance alive. Thank you so much. Namaste. 
The Kalingpong Mani Gompa, a Buddhist monastery of 12th mile in Kalingpong, was located a short distance from the palace Mijur Nyunga Pudrang of the princess Rani Chunidurji of Bhutan and was built in 60, 17 AD. This was one of the oldest Lepcha Buddhist monastery ever built in Kalingpong, as prior to that the Lepchas were deep-rooted in the culture of Moon, Buntik, what is commonly known to the world as nature worship, a belief with a combination of monotheism and animism. So, let's hear a bit about the history of Mani Gompa. Last year, when Nalanda conference uh, uh, done here at Kalimpong, at that time, uh, he met with Sonia Madam, and later Sonia Madam, along with Nalanda team, came to this monastery, and uh, uh, Sonia Madam is very pleased and she is very curious to help this monastery and I welcome this uh, and uh, this monastery is uh, actually established uh, during 350 years ago by Lama Chuzang who is the founder Lama of this monastery, Gonpa, and uh, I am sixth Lama. Lama is saying I am sixth Lama, sixth generation Lama of this monastery. Lama is saying uh, this monastery was established during uh, before 350 years ago by Lama Chuzang uh, for the people of Lepcha community, particularly. To teach the Buddhism, Lepcha people and uh, neighbor people, uh, which is uh, fully damaged by the earthquake during 2011. Heavy uh, damage has been done at that time, and at that time, uh, Governor of West Bengal also visited this monastery but uh, no funds has been received by this monastery for repairing uh, renovation purpose so that uh, during from 2014 uh, lama and other 
his colleagues started to collect donation from village people and uh, neighboring village people and Sikkim and Bhutan. And after collecting few amounts, few funds from there, uh, today and you are looking this monastery like this, up to this uh, structure Lama has constructed by collecting donations.